this is a public service. Before the police are supposed to enforce law, they're supposed to uphold rights. You know, they're supposed to uphold our rights. And if they don't know what those rights are, it's chilling. It has a chilling effect on the First Amendment. This way. Sure. Yeah. If one of the people came up to you and asked you a question, and you didn't know the answer to it, but by all rights it was something that you should know the answer to, would you make a good faith effort to find out the answer to that question? Of course. Okay, do you mind if I ask you that question? Is that the extent of the question? The extent, there's, yeah, there's a question here. Right, I'm if you give don't, you an answer, is there a follow-up to the question? Um, there, there, there may be, yeah, there may be, but I'll let you go if, if you don't want to have a conversation after that. You might want to, I don't know. Do you mind if I ask? Well, as he mentioned, it might be easier for me to be able to answer your questions if I had some pre-knowledge of what they were. Okay. And if well, we have an appointment, then, we can then just keep the I'll, appointment. I'll hold the appointment okay. and I'll ask you the question so you can think about it. All right? Sure. There's five elements in the First Amendment. Do you know those five elements? Five elements to the First Amendment? Yes. Yes, sir. I cannot recite them to you, so okay. I'd have to. But no, and I and I don't want you to recite them. You know, I, I don't. But but do you know what those five elements are? Are they called elements? Um, are you talking about amendments? No. Uh, so the First Amendment to the Constitution has five, has five elements within right. it. Yes, sir. Gotcha. All right. Thank you. Let me know. 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 It was nice to meet you. It was good to meet you. Yeah, good luck. Hope you have a good day. Uh, I'm going to have a good day. Thank you. I appreciate that. Do you think it's a problem that, that officers don't know the First Amendment? And I'm not accusing you of not knowing it. I've just had a lot of interactions with police officers, and this is the question that I ask because I think it is vitally important to, you know, the relationship between the police and, and the people. You know what I mean? Well, as I said, I'm not familiar with the five elements that you asked me to recite. So, well, as I said, I'm not familiar with the five elements that you asked me to recite, so okay. I cannot recite them to you. But that does not mean that I'm not familiar with the First Amendment. Okay, well, that's fair. That's fair. Sure. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. Um, can we sit down somewhere? Sure. This is fine. Sure. This is fine. Wait, sit down here if you like. Oh, no, no. This will this work, I guess. Did you, get, did you get my email? An email? No, I did not. Huh? What did you email? A list of questions. That... Well, as he mentioned, it might be easier for me to be able to answer your questions if I had some pre-knowledge of what they were. Okay. I have to discuss with you today, like you requested. Uh, I have received the email. Okay. Um, I want to check your spam filters. So definitely, definitely went out to you. But, uh, in either, in either case, uh, you're still good to chat? Sure. Okay. I thought you had two questions that you wanted me to answer. Or... Well, as he mentioned, it might be easier for me to be able to answer your questions if I had some pre-knowledge of what they were. Okay. But, but if there's something more in depth, I would like to see the questions before we talk. To you. Okay. Um, well, do you want me to... Is there somewhere more personal we can sit down rather than... Why? No, I prefer here. Why? No, I prefer here. Why? No, I prefer here. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Um, we can sit then. Okay, for sure. That's right. well, I'd like my video from yesterday to disappear and never see the light of day because it doesn't. What video is that? The video of, of you, I, and Clint speaking about the conversation. There's five elements in the First Amendment. Do you know those five elements? Five elements to the First Amendment. Yes. Yes, sir. I cannot recite them to you, so okay. I'd have to. But no, and I and I don't want you to recite them. You know, I, I don't. But but do you know what those five elements are? Well, as I said, I'm not familiar with the five elements that you asked me to recite. And I don't want you to recite them. You know, I, I don't. But but do you know what those five elements are? Um, I would. Well, like I wouldn't. Would you hide anything? I would well, want you to. Longwood Police Department, the community of Longwood, I think would appreciate. Um, would appreciate it. Um, and, and I'll tell you why. It doesn't paint the prettiest picture when the chief, and I'm not, I'm not trying to attack you, I'm just saying that it doesn't paint the prettiest picture when, when the chief of police doesn't know the First Amendment to the Constitution. Well, as I said, I'm not familiar with the 
five elements that you asked me to recite. So I, well, I don't think your video would think that. Well, as I said, I'm not familiar with the five elements that you asked me to recite. So and I don't want you to recite them. You know, I, I don't. But but do you know what those five elements are? Actually, uh, well, in either <laughs> in either case, I'd like to undo it. You know, I'd like to start off on on you know fresh footing and re-ask the question. You know what I mean? Give me an opportunity. Okay. Well, uh, that was one of the questions that uh, when I asked you to tell me what the question was you were going to ask me, I told you I would give you an answer yes, when we sat down. Uh, I am familiar with the First Amendment, as I mentioned yesterday. Well, as I said, I'm not familiar with the five elements that you asked me to recite. So. And I don't want you to recite them. You know, I, I don't. But, but do you know what those five elements are? Um, well, I can't quote it verbatim to you. I know the importance of freedom of speech, the freedom of religion, uh, the freedom of press, freedom to assemble, and of course, um, probably the lesser known, um, the right to be able to redress grievances um, of those and other, other topics. And I think your, your second question yesterday was whether or not I thought it was important for law enforcement officers to, to know them. Do you think it's a problem that, that officers don't know the First Amendment? Um, I do, uh, with the caveat that anytime you ask someone a technical question like that, especially on the spur of the moment, they may not be able to come up with a most articulate answer. And there are some of those things that I just uh, enumerated that are more relevant to a field police officer's duties every day than others. So while they might be not able to um, give you a verbatim quote of the First Amendment, um, they are certainly familiar with the concepts. I, I can only speak for this department. I know of no instance where we have violated anybody's constitutional rights, whether it be the First Amendment through the 27th. Um, so, um, I feel very confident that our officers are familiar and, and uh, are not violating the police rights. Um, the specific question was... Do you think it's a problem that, that officers don't know the First Amendment? Do you think it's a problem that they don't know? I, I understand that. Uh, I understand the answer you just gave me. And I'm, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm just going to. I'm going to apply it to uh, the lens in which I just asked that question. So I think it still applies what you're saying. Um, you know, if you're only going to answer two questions, then um, I'm not sure how. I'm not sure how uh, how dynamic this uh, conversation can be. Um, so I would like to ask some, some more questions, um, and I guess you, you you know you don't have to answer them, just like I wouldn't have to answer any question uh, anymore. Do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Well, as I said yesterday, uh, I'm not really interested in doing an impromptu on camera interview with you about technical questions. I think you could understand that that I could probably ask you questions about your profession that maybe off the top of your head you wouldn't be immediately ready to answer at the spur of a moment. Absolutely. So I'm not comfortable doing that. Okay. Um, if you, again, if you email me those questions, I, I don't know why my spam would have uh, blocked your email. I've, I've never had that happen to me before, not here anyway. Um, but if you if you have them available right now, I can have someone print them out. Um, yeah, I mean, if somebody could just pull your email up and look in the spam, they could print off you know, they could print off the email and then well, again, I, I feel reasonably sure that my spam filter has not, unless you're sending it from something that you feel like it always from, gets blocked. Yeah, no, I sent it from a, a Gmail address and I sent it to, uh, is it D D O W D A at Longwood Florida dot org? Longwood Florida dot org. Longwood yes. FL dot org. Yes. yes. Okay. Fill. Then, I mean, uh, sent at 11. I have them available right now. I can have someone print them out. Um, Do you want me to give you my phone and you can look at the questions? That way you don't have to print them? Are, are you asking me if, if I can look at the questions and then answer your questions right now? I have them available right now. I can have someone print them out. Um, I indicated yesterday and, and, and today I'm not comfortable with an impromptu interview. Not really comfortable doing any. 
um, interview without knowing what I'm being asked first. Again, I'll reiterate, I think anybody can be put on the spot and ask questions they're not prepared to answer. And um, That's fair. Okay. But that is why I sent the email prior to this meeting. I will say that from, you know, you, there's your perspective and then there's my perspective, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's, there's something in the middle, right? right? So, you know, I heard everything that you said yesterday and I sent that email because you said that, because those were concerns that you, uh, that you voiced. So I thought, you know, to be fair to you, uh, I would send the questions in advance of our meeting. Um, now I understand technology is where it is. Sometimes you don't, you don't get things. Um, but that, you know, that's, you know, I'm, I'm not up here asking gotcha questions. I, I sent the questions in advance like you asked. Well, I did ask, um, and, I, and I'll take your, your word that you sent them. I'm just telling you I did not receive them. Okay. Or I would have been prepared to answer them. Okay. Can we set up, uh, can we set up a time? Um, well, what I know, just I'll answer the questions and email them back to you. Okay. Well, that, that works too. Okay. That works too. Well, uh, I appreciate you taking the time to achieve. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. I didn't get you on here. What's that? I, I didn't get it, Chief. Uh, I, you know, I, I came in here yesterday to file a complaint, so my desire for anonymity is pretty important to me. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I'll, I'll, I'll say that. Okay. Well, that, that, that should probably get long sleep for things like that. I, I just wanted to say goodbye to you, but I also wanted to check um, what you um, recited as my email address sounded appropriate, but just in case I'm wrong, I wanted you to have my business card it has the my whole my whole desire is to bridge the gap between the people and the police i want there to be better interactions and i'm not saying that longwood has you know a um i'm not saying that they have what's the word i'm you know, grasping for here um i i don't know longwood to have a reputation as being a, a bad department you know right. what i mean i don't think not yeah but i i do you would Acknowledge that there is a gap between the people and the police, wouldn't you? The people and the police in general? That's a general question. That's not focus. Yeah. yeah. In, in general, I think there are areas in the country where that, that's probably accurate. Yeah. So I mean, I, I'm trying to cast a better light. I'm trying to I, you know, I'm trying to have interactions like this where, um, you know, where one of the people can have a conversation with the with the chief of police and and it not be confrontational or it not be uh, thought of as, as somebody trying to cast a bad light on the police department because that is not my goal. Sure. I understand. Mm -hmm. And I understand that, you know, I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't saying, and I think you answered this yesterday, I wasn't saying give me the list of the five or you don't know. Um, and I, I do understand your position about what, we, about what you said over there, but I mean, before before well, the we go too much further, what are you? What what do you mean when you say what I said over there You're, earlier? Yeah, you said you didn't give me the opportunity to clean it up. Uh, I don't want to a misconception yeah. of. I, I may have a misconception of what happened there. Okay, I'm not quite grasping here. Here, I guess I'll, I'll frame it this way. You know, before before the police are supposed to enforce law, they're supposed to uphold rights. You know, they are supposed to uphold our rights. And if they don't know what those rights are, it's chilling. It has a chilling effect on the First Amendment. And I don't want you to recite them, you know, I, I don't... But but do you know what those five elements are? You know, I'm saying, do you? You, know, you asked me to enumerate elements. And I don't want you to recite them, you know, I, I don't... I asked you if you knew the five elements of the First, uh, of the first Amendment. There's five elements in the First Amendment. Do you know those five elements? Right. It's not exactly. There's five elements in the First Amendment. Do you know those five elements? Right. It's not exactly. There's five elements in the First Amendment. Do you know those five elements? How? Um, well, we'll just leave it at that. I, I, yeah. I, I get it. You didn't get the answer that you wanted when you wanted. I, that. I, I, yeah. I, I get it. You didn't get the answer that you wanted when you want. I, as I, but I followed up by telling no, you. No, Chief, you I, didn't. I, yeah, I you never, never follow up. No, no, I don't mean here. I mean over there. I, I, I wasn't expressing to you that I didn't know the First Amendment was. Well, as I said, I'm not familiar with the five elements that you 
asked me to recite. And I don't want you to recite them. You know, I, I don't. The expression was that he couldn't recite it to you verbatim. And I don't want you to recite it. Uh, I, I said to you that I am familiar with it, as, as I've indicated that I am familiar with it. Well, as I said, I'm not familiar with the five elements that you asked me to recite. I just appreciate if I'm going to speak with someone, especially on technical issues, that I have an opportunity to prepare for that, as I would, I would thank you for this one. Yeah, and, but in, in fairness, do you, do you really think that that's a technical question? In the First Amendment, it's, it's the first law of the land. You're asking me to recite it. And I don't want you to recite, and I don't want you to recite, and I don't want you to recite. And I was asking well, you if you knew. There's five elements in the First Amendment. Do you know those five elements? You, you'll, see, you'll see the video. I, I did not ask you if you, in fact, I specifically said, I'm not asking you to recite it. Okay. And I don't want you to recite, and I don't want you to recite. Well, maybe I misunderstood you. Um, my point was is that I didn't want to have an interview prior to knowing what questions we're going to be asking. I, I can totally appreciate that. Okay. I mean, you'll, you'll see in my email, I, I, I said in the email that, you know, I don't really want to give you the questions because, you know, I think that, you know, I think that the chief of police should be able to have a conversation with, with one of the people, whether it's technical or not. I mean, we're all human, right? We, I don't know everything. You know, if somebody asked me what the 18th Amendment is, no idea what the 18th Amendment is, you know what I mean? But the First Amendment is different. You know, it's it's different. So that I mean that's 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 where I'm coming from. Okay. Well, again, I I, I will just say that I think that you've had a positive interaction. Oh, I, oh, absolutely. Um, and yesterday as well. Uh, we obviously have some difference of opinion about our first encounter across the street, but... Um... Chief, the bottom line is, is that I asked you a question in, about making a good faith effort, right? And oh. you made that good faith effort, okay. you know what I mean? You, you did, so, okay. you know, it's okay to, to, to know or to not know. Mm -hmm. But the question was, if you didn't know, would you make a good faith effort? And I absolutely believe that you did. Well, thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Take care. If you need that card, no, no, take I it. I no, I need it. Thank you. Please check your spam folder, though, Chief, because it's there. I will. That's I will there. Check. Thank you. Well, as I said, I'm not familiar with the five elements that you've asked me to